Today we're going to take a quick look at a new receiver from RadioMaster for the 2.4 gigs Express LRS system. This receiver not only has antenna diversity, but it is also compatible with Gemini as well, making it RadioMaster's first true Gemini compatible product. Now, just to be clear, RadioMaster did send me this receiver over to take a look at for free. However, they've not paid me to make this video. They've not seen this video before it's been published. And as always, my thoughts are entirely my own. Okay, now just to give you a quick overview of this new receiver. Now, it's called the RP4TD. Now, this is Radio Master's first proper diversity receiver for 2.4 gigahertz. And when I say proper diversity, it isn't antenna diversity. It is full RF diversity. It has two RF front ends, which also means it is fully Gemini compatible. Now, like most of the other Radio Master receivers, you get it in this packaging like this. They include some wires for soldering, which is always really good to see. They include this little card, which will take you to Radio Master's website with some QR codes. And then we have the receiver itself in this little bag. Now included in that is the receiver with the antennas pre-mounted, and then they include three pieces of heat shrink tubing as well. Now we'll take a closer look at this receiver under the microscope in a minute, but as you can see on this side here, we have our ESP32, our Wi-Fi antenna, as well as some sundry components. And then if I flip it over, you can see we've got our RF side of things. We've got our two independent RF front end chips, our power amplifiers, and then our antenna ports. Now you can see there are dual chips, which shows that it is fully true independent on the RF front end, which means it will be fully compatible with the likes of Gemini. As there is power amplifiers installed on this as standard, it means it's going to have a higher output on the telemetry power. These receivers can do up to 100 milliwatts on each of the RF outputs alongside the usual functionality. Okay, now taking a closer look at this receiver under the microscope, you can see our main ESP32 there. We've then got our little antenna on the side here for the Wi-Fi functionality. That is a chip antenna. Rather than using something like a little PCB track, they've decided to put a proper antenna on there. So that should give some good performance. Moving down to the bottom of the board, you can see our voltage regulation. So you've got your little IC, your coil, and that's what's going to convert the voltage down from that 5 volt input to 3.3 volts generally as used on these units. If we then flip it over to the other side, you will then see that dual RF front end. Now we have two SX1281s, that is the main chipsets, which then go up to a set of power amplifiers, which gives us that up to 100 milliwatt of RF output. That is the 2401Cs, and then that goes up to each antenna port completely independently. You can see the RF path going up here, so you can see it coming out the SX chipset through the little filter into the PA and then up then to the antenna port, and then there's an LED there mounted in the middle. Something else just worth mentioning on these receivers is they do have dual TCXO oscillators, which is the temperature controlled ones, so they should give fantastic stability with regards to frequency accuracy. And there is also an additional UART pad located on the side of these receivers. You can see there's an RX and a TX port, and you can see them from over that side there as well for additional functionality in the future. Now, this receiver is compatible with all the existing Radio Master range of Express LRS radios, as well as their modules and modules and radios from other manufacturers. You can use it with the likes of the Big Ranger, the Ranger Micro and Nano, the Boxer with the built-in Express LRS on the little pocket. However, today, at the point we make in this video, Radio Master don't have anything that is compatible with Gemini. So if you wanted Gemini functionality, you may want to look at that from another manufacturer. However, based on the fact that they've released a receiver that is fully compatible with Gemini, I would suspect that they will probably have something Gemini related coming in the near future. And if and when that happens, I will put a video out on that on the channel. But here and now today, if you did want to use Gemini, you're going to have to have a look at one of the other transmitter modules. Now, if you're interested in getting one of these new receivers, it is available for $24.99. You can select the region it comes in. However, that is simply the software that is pre-installed. You can install whatever software on your Express RS receiver you want to. There is no hardware differences between FCC or LBT. Alongside this, you can get all of the Radio Master transmitter modules as well, and there will be a link to these in the description of this video. Now, it's really good to see Radio Master putting out some Gemini compatible equipment, and as I've said, I suspect this won't be the last. Now, if you're interested in getting these, there will be a link to them in the description. That is an affiliate link because Radio Master are a company we do use affiliate links with on this channel simply because of some of the fantastic products that they make, and I'm more than happy to recommend them as a result of that. Now, I'm really interested in knowing what you think. If you have any questions, please to put them in the comments below. And finally, I just want to say, if you'd like to support us to allow us to keep making content like this in the future, please 
do consider checking out the link to my Patreon in the description. It's only through the support of my Patreons, the channel members, and the donations via buying me a coffee are we able to keep making content on this channel. And if you'd like to support us to allow us to keep making content in the future, please do consider checking it out. Anyway, that's it from me on this one. Stay safe. I'll speak to you soon.